Today we're going to go over installing and building the rear wall window for the Riga greenhouse. Here are your parts laid out. You've got your 10 millimeter piece of polycarbonate, both side profiles, the bottom piece to the rear wall window, and the top piece. These four here are bundled in one bundle when you come in the pack. Here we have the corner connectors, the door hinge, sash lock, and the screws for the sash lock. All your screws to install the, uh, put the door together. These two put the door catch on the back, door hinge screws, and the <clears throat> door catch mechanism. And you also have the T-seal that goes around the edge. First thing to do in building your rear wall window is to take your lower profile. This side is going to be the outside of the lower profile and on the polycarbonate <clears throat> you're going to have a side of the peel off that is colored and a side that is clear. You're going to want the colored side to go outside because that's going to have your UV coating on it. And that protects both your plants and the polycarbonate itself. If you Look on the, rear, the lower profile, there's a channel in the bottom, you just slide it over the top of this. I slide it on as opposed to pressing it on because it is a real tight fit and if you go to press it down it makes it hard a lot of the times. When you slide it on, even it off on both ends so you have three-eighths of an inch almost, could be different in some. And then we're going to go on to screw in the sides on. To screw the sides on, you have two different sides. One has a big hole in it, and the other doesn't. It's pretty easy to match up and see how they go together. <clears throat> One side of it has a flange, and it'll just fit flush. You're going to want to go ahead and use the inch, inch and a half screws to attach it to the lower profile. And you can either use a drill or a regular Phillips head screwdriver. I tend to use a drill because it's a little faster, but whatever suits you. Install on both sides just the same. Use the same size screws. They go into a little channel. You'll see it. You look through the hole. There's a little screw hole in this bottom profile. Now to install the top, top profile, usually the top profile slide on a little easier than the bottom. The bottom is really tight. This is where you're going to use a corner connector. Pick the appropriate one. They both have grooves in them. Just match them up with the grooves on the current profile. And it just snaps right in there. Take the same screw you've been using to do the other stuff. Goes in the appropriate hole.
and the main assembly is complete. And to go with some of the final steps in uh, completing the rear wall window, I'm going to want to install the door hinges that it actually hangs on here. This is the outside. You see in the one profile, it's got two holes screwed in there. Just match up the holes. Use these inch long, they got the beveled head on them. They fit down in there. Just screw right down. Pre-drilled holes. There's two of those. 